The nursery was started 20 years ago by my father with us taking it over in March 93. Growing up in the nursery, my dad was always an organic nurseryman. We used to knock tomato boxes together and sell seedlings that way. So I've been from, from the old methods right up to the modern methods we use today. And um, I'm very fortunate in that sense. So I was, you could say I've been in the industry for 42 years, been born in it. My goal in the nursery is to try and teach people to turn around and go back, go back to the old methods of gardening. We are discarding or destroying too much that we could reuse in our gardens. We focused on low cost plants, trying to keep our prices down as well as focusing on locally grown, grown plants and um, we find that very important because they adapted to our climate. We produce our own seedlings, we grow our own seedlings. Besides that we also do our own soil mixtures and have our own compost mixtures um, which are exclusive to us. A whole nursery in fact has grown on these products. We are at this stage now for the past six years 100% organic so we have totally 100% eliminated all pesticides as well as chemical fertilizers and in the long run I'm hoping it would set a precedent to other nurseries um, specifically if you love your plants if you love the environment this is what they should be doing we forget these plants don't want chemicals this is the biggest problem we have we're using products that, that are not going to do anything good for our environment, but actually destroying it. We find with going organic in the nursery, we've got predators in the nursery that we've never seen before. I've got mole snakes, I breed chameleons, I breed a snail called the West Coast Natter Snail, or the Mustard Snail. He's a carnivorous snail, he eats the garden snail. Now if I put snail pellets down, I'm going to kill him but I have controlled my snails by having him in my nursery. He's part of my ecosystem. My emphasis specifically with my customers is soil preparation before planting. And that means as much organic material as possible into your soil. Moisture retention, to me, that's water-wise gardening, not the choice of plants you're planting. If plants are cared for correctly and soil prepared correctly, there's no reason why we can't have a beautiful garden of our own choice. So our biggest, biggest issue is to have soil preparation before planting. And organic material is also vitally important. What minerals do for your soil is that they actually build up the immunity of your plants and put back strength as well as giving off fragrance. So plants give off smells that deter insects. And we're not thinking about this. Because in nature, this is what happens. Otherwise, we wouldn't have what we've got in nature if plants were, were tampered with. The methods that we've, we've gone back to are working for us. And if they can work for us in harsh conditions, like the Cape Flats, I don't see why it can't in the Cape Province, full stop. It can take sun, don't need much water. I just feel that if you own a nursery and you have a passion and a love and the feel for a plant, then your goal is to treat your nursery as well as teach your customers that whatever you're purchasing does have feelings and it does have needs. So we try our best to teach our customers and also ascertain where our customers are coming from. We need to ascertain where they live, the environment that they want to create for themselves, their work times, how they're going to maintain. By doing that, we can help them and guide them in their choices. So our services that we offer are very much hands-on. We also offer personal time with our customers if they make appointments with us, with all the details of their gardens, preferably photographs and so on. And we try and personalize our customers' help. I think we need to move the aquilegias, the nasturtiums and put them on the table, closing the gaps. We need to plant trees, we need to just Green up our environment, clean up our environment. Everybody can do it if we just used what was given to us to be used. We all live very, very, very hectic lives. Um, a lot of us are working under pressure. 
what better place than to have a beautiful garden to come home to and just get rid of that negativity and draw in the positivity, you know, the positiveness of, of a plant. And that's how I, I, I live by that.